This morning, the 2016 presidential race has its first candidate. Texas Senator Ted Cruz is now officially vying for the White House today. He's going to appeal to voters where he is already a favorite. NBC's Richard Jordan is live from Washington with the details from overnight. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Ted Cruz is the first to make it official. Many others are expected to join in soon, but for now, it's a one-man race. The president has effectively admitted Senator Ted Cruz is ready to run. I believe we can stand up. Cruz posted a video on Twitter overnight and a message saying, I am running for president and I hope to earn your support. Today, the Texas Republican is expected to say those words in what will become his first presidential campaign rally appealing to his conservative base. Cruz announces his bid at Jerry Falwell's Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia, an evangelical Christian school. Other Republicans want to move away from social issues. Ted Cruz, by announcing at Liberty, is saying, no, I'm your champion. Cruz, a senator for just over two years, is a Tea Party favorite. He is a valued member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Uh, he and I are, are, are friendly, and I think he is a very viable candidate. This weekend, California Governor Jerry Brown went after Cruz for dismissing the threat of global warming, suggesting he's on the wrong side of that debate. It's shocking, and I think that man has rendered himself absolutely unfit to be running for office. In an NBC News Wall Street Journal poll this month, 40% of Republican primary voters said they could see themselves supporting Cruz as the party's nominee. And Cruz is often a target for Democrats who say he is too far to the right. But if he's elected, Cruz would be the first Hispanic president. His father was born in Cuba. Brian and Sally. Richard, but where does um, Cruz come in against some of his expected challengers? Well, it looks like it's good that he got in early so he can get a head start because he is not at the top of the list. According to the latest polls, he's about eighth from the top. At the very top was one of his fellow senators, Marco Rubio from Florida. And we'll see what happens next if uh, Rubio throws his hat in the ring or the others follow as expected. <laughs> Richard, thank you. This morning, a lot of